I had to do it today because uh, huge, huge extension news, kind of out of the blue, really, because nobody was talking about this at all, which I think is what's so brilliant about it. So the Seahawks, as I said in my title, extend Tyler Lockett, four-year deal, what, $69.2 million, $37 million guaranteed. And they lock up, arguably, right now, the best receiver on the Seahawks roster. Not only do they do that, but they also end up freeing up some cap space because that would have been the third largest cap hit with Lockett's existing contract. So they not only free up some cap room, they also lock in Tyler Lockett. Lockett is locked in. And I don't know if you're, if you're a Seahawks fan, I don't know how you don't like this idea. I heard some people talking about the idea of, hey, maybe they should uh, maybe trade Lockett for some draft capital. And I was like, really? You're going to give up your currently best receiver uh, for some potentially better wild card options in the draft? In the draft where there's so much uncertainty about what you're going to be getting in this draft class? So... I thought that was crazy. So I always thought at some point they're going to take care of him. It's just nice they got Gary t took care of him now so that we don't have to worry about it next year. But again, the benefit is we get that um, we, we get that taken care of now and, and we have more money to, to play with. I know KJ Wright. Oh, and the, uh, the other side of the thing, the Gabe Jackson deal. Um, and talk about that uh, yesterday. They talked about not only did they, they acquire him, but they basically tore up his previous contract and restructured and re redid a new deal for three years. I don't have the terms in front of me, but essentially uh, lock, locking him in for a longer term, but again, uh, freeing up more cap room. So I'm still dreaming that we can get KJ Wright back with Seattle, <clears throat> even though it's been discussed that, or it's been rumored that he is, there's interest by him to uh, join the 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 Dallas Cowboys and we'll see what happens there um but I say I say Tyler Lockett's the best receiver right now he is the best receiver DK Metcalf could become maybe even a year from now the best receiver it's just a matter of him taking that next step and having another great year in terms of um improving his his overall game we know he's great we know he's a freak of nature we know he's fast he can work on you know being a little bit more consistent with his hands um blocking and of course as we saw in that wild card game improving his attitude a little bit we do not want to see that and maybe maybe that'll be a little bit humbling for him maybe the fact that tyler lockett getting paid that money may, maybe maybe makes him think okay all right well i clearly need to do more to prove that I'm the man so I can get mine when this thing comes to uh, contract time for him. So I'm about ready to go into a car wash here. So this will be a NorCam car wash uh, experience here in just a moment. I got I to gotta punch this thing as I do this. Um, so yeah, I'm, 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 ex I'm super excited about this. Welcome to Elephant Touchless Car Wash. This is not not brought to you by Elephant Touchless Car Wash because I have to do this myself. It's just what you tune in for, right? What? What I do now? Put my card in? Alright, put my card in. Does that work? All right. I think I did a car wash vlog, vlog years ago one time when my kids were little. So this would be my only second time doing it. Thank you for your purchase. Okay. Let's so see if this thing works. Yeah, I want a receipt. Where's my receipt? Give me a receipt. Tax write off. Hey, where's my receipt? Your receipt. Oh, there you go. Please wait until the Push the wrong button. <laughs> what the heck? It's 
funny. I'm just I'm looking at the car in front of me, and it's like in the final stages of its wash, and it looked like the, co the car was covered in like pink and blue yogurt. Maybe that's just the wax that they're putting on it or something. <laughs> it's looking like what the heck is on that car? Here, look. I'll show you. There you go. That's not colorful anymore. Anyway, somebody said, why does breaking news always happen when Orb's in the car? I don't know, because I don't drive that often. I mean, I run errands here and there, but... Um, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, huge news. Uh, I'm excited about it. Like I said, Seattle just... Those guys are... Schneider and company, those guys are very clever. And they're always doing things that you don't expect. This Tyler Lockett thing, nobody was talking about this. And yet it, it solves so many issues. And, you know, it just makes you also realize that whenever they say, oh, we don't have any money or they're cap strapped, they're really not. You know, they, there's always seemingly ways to work the system, to change, you know, oh, we only have a million in cap space. What are we going to do? You know, change this deal here, tear up this deal, sign this deal. And all of a sudden, hey got several million, several million dollars to work with now. So it, it, it's not like the teams are broke. They just have to, you know, work their, their, their cap guys, just get together and start playing. It's just a number shell game. And I think it's great. That's why, you know, I never doubt with these guys too. You know, whenever people start freaking out at the beginning of free agency, when everyone's spending big bucks, this guy, big, big bucks over here. Uh, and then Seattle's not doing anything. You know, everybody just freaks out and thinks, what's wrong with these guys? Why are they signing a people, you know? And then they start doing things like this, and then you start seeing the logic in all of it. Just a quiet little pace, you know? <clears throat> so, all right, things tells me to go in, but this car in front of me is taking their sweet time to go through the dryer. Okay, move your butt, pal. My turn. <clears throat> Oh, super chat. What did I miss? Alina, what's up? All right, well, I, I got to make sure I stop at the right time. So there you go, stop. All right, you get to enjoy the car wash. The sounds of the car wash. Touch this car wash. Uh, the elephant. Um, she's also, she says, what does Chrysostomo think of, this, of the deal? Seeing car wash. At the car wash, yeah. Uh, Chrysostomo, if Chrysostomo were to see that, he'd be thinking, Dang it! Man, we gotta deal with Tyler Lockett for a few more years! It sucks! We've had a kick butt in the draft with that number three pick! Although I'm sad to see Jimmy G, the best looking quarterback in the NFL, probably not gonna be in a 49er uniform much longer. That's okay, I'll still keep my poster above my bed. I mean, on my wall. Yeah, that's what I did. And we'll be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> okay, okay. Anyway, um, so I'm excited. This is more stuff for us to talk about on the roundtable tonight. Uh, we have a, a exciting show this uh, 5.15 Pacific time, 8.15 Eastern time. I'm going to have a couple members missing. Uh, Coach Marsh um, will not be there. Seahawks Martin will not be there. Uh, Seahawks Martin is just uh, going on spring break travels. Uh, so I hope he has a good time. Uh, Coach Marsh, uh, unfortunately, has been dealing with uh, a lot of back issues that have come up in the last uh, week or so, and it's really taken his toll on him to a point where he can't even comfortably sit for an extended period of time, which is why he can't do the show right now. Um, so he's taking a little bit of a break to, to heal up. So 